Okay, so the reason for facts, um, the last video that I posted was because when I was reading through the book, like the parts that I showed, I was like, okay, so it makes sense that in terms of being a woman, women, this is my take, okay? Women as a whole, I feel, need to and are being forced to in ways that me being a Texan, I can understand because of laws that have taken effect or uh, have been overturned um, in terms of women's reproductive rights. We have to uh, open up our minds and elevate. This is something that I myself have been working on um, because it is needed. It is very much, I know I did that, but it is very much needed, okay? <laughs> it is very much needed. And so, because it is very much needed, it is like a force also at the same time. Like, under the government that we are now, and this shit came from the Supreme Court, so... I don't know, I didn't study government, whatever the fuck that's called, politics. Um, I can't even think of like either criminal justice, but it's also another type of major that you can major in and study where you study like the government, different the different types of government, focus in and zero in and all that. I can't even think of what that is called. But it's like, so I really don't know a lot of things. Um, and so what I do know is that things got overturned. And not all women, but the, some women, especially the new woman, whatever her name is, um, she got up there and said, no, we have to do this and did it. And was on the side of all of the men. I don't, I'm not going to say nothing because I don't know, but I feel like of all of the men and I don't know that it could include that black man. <laughs> you see how I don't know. I may know some names, but I'm not saying them because I don't know. I don't like the whole political thing. It's just doesn't, like, um, politics do not interest me anymore they have no interest to me anymore i am a registered voter um i am also independent like i am an artist <laughs> and so i like independency and then i go based off that and decide who i want to vote for usually they force me to vote democrat and so it's like okay whatever um and so that but because it's like you can't really vote independent which is like I really wish, like, as an independent, look, this is going to cover so much within this 10 minutes, okay? But as an independent, I really wish that the independent party could be a real thing <laughs> on some very real shit because then I would have more interest in it going further. Otherwise, I just don't give a fuck about politics, like, on no way, level, shape, and form. Like, I may be informed somehow, some way, but I... I dislike it. I don't feel like it does things for me. I just don't. Like, it's like a force either way. Because, like, the government is, like, a an organization. You know? And so, since the organization is the organization, it's like we live here. I'm not probably... I have no idea where my future holds. But I probably will not, outside of visit, live outside of the America. And so, I have... I don't know like it's like you know I just have to go with it you know and so under the corporation that is this place it's like it's really whatever you know we done lived under Trump at this point and so and I lived in DC and that was a whole thing like to be out there literally what that shit was a lot and so 
and in uh where i live now and this is a small ass fucking uh not black field place and so it was a lot going down in both places under that man but it has also been a lot going on under whoever the fuck and so it really at this point doesn't matter yes i feel with the democrats mm, i don't know there could be some levels of i have no idea i have i can't even go further with that because i don't know that's why i said i'm independent i'm literally an independent and that's why i love being independent because i don't know and i cannot just make decisions off of i don't fucking know because neither of y'all give me happiness and so i'm just here under the organization you know i have to pay the organization which is like i have to pay you so do something for me you know like i have to pay like distro kid in order to distribute my music and so with that it's like I pay them so that way they can work for me. You know, when does the government work for me? You know, that's just all I'm saying. Okay, so going back to what I really wanted to uh, put out there for this video is uh, women need to elevate. Because if we elevate, then men will be forced. I needed to say all that, look. When will be, men will be forced to elevate like themselves because they're going to need us because they're going to get tired of being incels the way that for me what I see the government doing if like the other consequence to them putting locks on women's bodies or whatever through lack of reproductive services and in even in emergencies um like in any fucking ways it's like they have turned it into handmaid's tale low-key and so because it is like that that's why i'm saying women need to elevate and go along with what is happening instead of living a life that is like whatever was before that shit happened and you could just freely go somewhere i guess planned parenthood or wherever you go um in order to obtain services like an abortion or some shit um instead of just you know elevating for me elevation is like if you are going to have sex and engage in that then uh just to use a condom and that is either the man using a condom or the woman or whatever, whoever is having sex. But in this case where an, a baby can be um, created by the type of intercourse that I'm talking about. Um, elevation in the mind is literally using a condom or being abstinent it is not continuing to have sex and then if something happens especially in states like texas and wherever the fuck else they have placed restrictions um on this shit on reproductive services for women in all cases um it's like you have to elevate because if you do not elevate, then you can be in some tragic situations. And that's also like in Texas, even if it's like an emergency, like you uh, were sexually assaulted, they don't give no fucks. And so it's like elevating in terms of who you're around, places that you go, uh, things that you do, experiences that you like to experience. It is elevating in every single level. And it's like, if we're going to go into whatever we're going to future focused on, like being future focused on like what's happening this year with an election, then it's like, whatever the outcome, we're going to need to be elevated on a level where it's like shows. That's why I feel like they taking away TikTok. 
because it is doing a lot on the level of elevation of the mind. 